This is a brief disclaimer before I start the actual content of this video. My voice sounds strange because I'm recovering from COVID-19 as we're recording this. Without ado, let's begin the, this video's actual content. While the tutorials I've made for jailbreaking iOS 6 in the past still work, I've since found a better method on both macOS and Windows that works on any iOS device running any version of iOS 6. Hence this updated tutorial. Without further ado, let's get into it as I'll test it on this iPhone 4S running iOS 6.1.3. Firstly, you must have a device running iOS 6 in order to jailbreak it via this method. Secondly, you need a USB cable to connect your device to your computer. And please note that adapters often interfere with jailbreaking, so if you're jailbreaking a 30-pin device, use a computer if included USB-A ports if you can. Just make sure to connect your device directly to your computer's port. Thirdly, you must have a Mac or Windows computer. I have tested this method on Mac OS 12 Monterey and Windows 10, and both have worked. However, the developer of the tool I'll show in this video doesn't specify which Mac OS or Windows versions this will work with. I also advise not using your main computer for this because in order to run the jailbreak tool I'll show, you must disable antivirus. However, this tool isn't malware. But if you're using a Windows computer, you also must download iTunes via the link in this video's description. And your version of iTunes cannot be the version from the Microsoft Store, for that will not work with this jailbreak. If you download the version of iTunes from the Microsoft Store and need to, the official version from Apple's website, go ahead and before downloading the version from Apple's website, what you need to do is you need to not only put iTunes in the recycle bin, but you also need to go into File Explorer. Music. iTunes and hit delete. Then you need to go ahead and open up Control Panel. Open. Uninstall program. Unless for some reason you're using a Mac that was installed that in on Windows that was dual booted via boot camp, in which case keep the Apple drivers, but otherwise you want to uninstall everything from Apple. For the publisher of Apple Inc. specifically. So. <laughs> Hopefully you need the tool for this jailbreak at Quill, which can which the download link for is also linked in this video's description. Once you've downloaded Quill, go ahead and open it up. And it's going to say that it's not able to open. This is where the process for this, depending on whether you run Mac OS or Windows, will vary. So on Mac OS, what you need to do is you need to go into security and privacy. Locate where this is where this is. Now, I'm, you'll have to hit allow Aquila right here if you haven't already set up. When you initially try to open up Aquila on Windows, what you'll normally get, unless you've disabled Windows Defender, is that is you'll get this message. So what you need to do is you need to hit run anyway. So that's, that way Aquila will go ahead and run. And if you have other antivirus software, then that might also block it. So you'll just need to go with that as you will. And my device is not connected to my computer, which is why I won't open, but that's what you'll need to do as I've tested in the past. However, I have set it up on this Mac before, so it will so it will automatically start working. And as you can tell, just like that, it'll go ahead and automatically start the jailbreak once you've uploaded it. So I'll go ahead and get back to you once this is done. And literally two seconds after I stop filming that, the process is done. So now you can go ahead and unplug your device. Exit out of terminal and everything. And it'll go ahead and boot with the Aquila jailbreak. And I'll get back to you once once this is done. However, the jailbreak process is not over yet. Device reboots for the first time. Cydia will go ahead and be on your home screen. However, if you try to open it, you're going to get a network error. So what you need to do is you need to go to this website on your device on Safari. So you visit this address, which is which is which I'll also have linked in this video description, which is TLS root. Dot litten dot ca. Sorry, that's my dog Betty barking in the background, which I have no control over. And once you get there, you need to un install these following certificates. You need to install Di Digicert Global CA G2 and, and G3. ISRG root X1.
and user trust RSA CA. And just like that, now you are good to go. So does this jailbreak work for you? Please comment that down below. If it didn't work for you and you followed all the steps in this video, please read other comments in this video, see if anyone else had this issue and what their solution was, and then comment if you haven't found anyone else with that issue. As always, thank you all for watching this tutorial. I'm the Actions Family, and peace out.